It is a big day for one of my friends. Before I get to who that is, I want you to listen to this voice because it is a voice that is instantly recognizable. Is Steve Murphy. Good evening, everyone. We lead off here tonight with the emerging new strain of COVID, the Omicron variant. There he is. After 45 years in broadcasting, Steve Murphy, the iconic, trusted voice for news in Atlantic Canada, is stepping aside. He is retiring from the main desk at CTV Atlantic at the end of this evening's broadcast. But the good news is he's going to be sticking around. He's going to take on some projects. Thank goodness. Joining us now from Halifax on his very last day, Steve Murphy. Steve, here we are. Hi, Linz. How are you? Hi, I'm good. I was thinking about you this morning when I woke up, wondering how you woke up. Was this a, like an inhale day or was this an exhale day? You know what? It's a bit like Christmas. <laughs> uh, you can't wait for it to get here and then you're sorry when it's over. Mm. So I'm feeling a little bit like that, but I'm full of anticipation for the last broadcast. And I'm very grateful for the response I've had from people all across the region and across the country. And that includes you, by the way. You said some very generous things uh, shortly after I made the announcement uh, to your colleagues on your morning. And uh, that means a lot to me, Lindsay. Thank you very well, much. Well, you have meant a lot to me, as you know. And I've told you that. And I've, I've told it publicly. I've told you privately as well what you've done for me personally. And um, I'm just like one of the people on a very, very long list of admirers uh, and count you as one of my mentors, Steve. So this is a big day for you. Um, you. I was thinking about, you know, thinking back to, you know, our relationship when I met you and how kind you were to me in the newsroom at CTV Atlantic. And I was wondering about your first moments at CTV. Take us back to those, like, first couple days when you started your career. What do you remember about that time? Well, you know, I, I was fortunate. I came to work in the same building here 40, almost 42 years ago on the CJCH radio side of things. And radio and television at that time were still owned by the same company, by the Chum Group, which was one of the predecessors of Bell Media, for whom we now work. Uh, radio and television were separate, but we worked very closely together. And the leadership of television under a man named Dick Pratt, who was really one of the founding fathers of the ATV system, uh, came to me very early on uh, in my days here to remind me that I had uh, failed to show up for an audition for a television job when I worked in radio in New Brunswick as a kid. And he walked up to me and he said, young fellow, uh, my name is Dick Pratt and I got a bone to pick with you. <laughs> and the bone to pick was that I hadn't, uh, I hadn't answered his invitation to come for a TV audition. Mm -hmm. So a few years later, he again extended the opportunity to start doing editorial commentary on television on a program called Live at Five, which was a, a real trailblazer back in the early 1980s. And I got my introduction to television as a young man who got to say just about anything about anything he wanted to say. And let me tell you, Lindsay, I know what I said then and I know what I think now. I'd like to take most of it back. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> well, when we, take a, when we take a look back, Steve, when you think about those like pivotal moments for you of you sort of having yeah. a seat to some of the most um, impressionable moments that we as, you know, Atlantic Canadians, but also we as Canadians in general uh, witnessed, what are, what are the standout moments for you? Well, I think, you know, Lindsay, we live in a country and certainly we live in a region where things generally work pretty well. So it is, I suppose, only logical or reasonable that it's the tragic things, the sad things that we tend to remember. And I guess uh, most of us know where we were when some of these tragic things happened. The Westray Mine disaster, which mm -hmm. we're coming up on the hard to believe the 30th anniversary of that uh, event in May of next year. That is an event that I will never forget. I, along with many of my colleagues in journalism, uh, spent many days on the ground in Plymouth, Nova Scotia, uh, hoping for the miracle that never came after the Westray mine exploded. I also remember the, the crash of Swiss Air Flight 111, which occurred just off our shores here in Nova Scotia. We all remember 9-11. And most recently, of course, for people here in Atlantic Canada and really everywhere, we remember the terrible incidents of April 2020 uh, in and around port pic Nova Scotia, a story that is still being told. Mm -hmm. So I guess it's those monumental tragedies that we remember. But Lindsay, I do say this. I also am always moved by the resilience of Canadians. I'm watching the people in British Columbia now who are dealing with the terrible flooding there, the people in Cape Breton, the people in Newfoundland who've been dealt very serious setbacks by Mother Nature. But we are resilient people. We stand up. We, we are never kept down as a people. And I think that is one of the, one of the takeaways from all of the tragic stories mm -hmm. that I've covered is that we do know how to recover and we do stand up and carry on.
Well, and a big part of that is you holding our hand and walking us through those conversations and having those those discussions with people who the news has impacted. Uh, you will be greatly Thank missed, you. Steve. But I know that you're just stepping away from the desk, but you're still going to be participating, which is great to hear. And I know you still have all that charity work to keep you busy as well. So, Steve, my Christmas best Christmas daddies this weekend, by the way. i got to get a plug in. Sorry, Saturday, 11 o'clock, CTV Atlantic. It's oh, the good for Christmas you. Daddy <laughs> show. Sorry. No, no, no. sorry. Some, some jobs never stop. <laughs> and that one certainly never ends. Uh, Steve Murphy, a pleasure to talk to you. Have a great last day. Thank you, Lindsay, and thanks to everybody on your morning. Oh, my goodness. All right, Steve, all the best to you. Great conversation. He's so wins. great. I know. And that's, I mean, listen, you can just tell if you, I mean, everybody knows who he is, but the way that he tells stories and the way that he communicates is just unparalleled. He's just wonderful. Can I tell you something that I see in you that I think that you've probably learned from him because it is one of his signatures, which he is always steady and calm. Mm -hmm. And when a situation is, uh, is uncertain, a lot of times people will speed up or they like ride right. that energy. But Steve is always reassuring. And he's always calm. I'm going to give you the facts. We're going to walk through this together. And you have a lot of that Thank in you. how you do breaking news. Well, I think obviously because I, I, I watch the best. Yeah. The hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here. Or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.